Barry Hearn has been wrong many, many times in the past, as we all know. And he's not exactly a neutral in this situation right here. But he believes that the Tyson Fury Deontay Wilder rubber match won't happen because of the financial fallout from the lockdown policy, which has obviously wrecked economies all over the world. And he points out that even before these lockdowns, the finances for the Fury Wilder rubber match were shaky to begin with, because if you remember, for their second fight, they only broke even. They spent an enormous amount of money advertising that rematch. And after the fighters were paid and all the advertising uh, was done, etc., and all the pay-per-views came in, according to the figures that they put out publicly, they only just about broke even. If not, I think they might have lost a bit of money. So, as dominant as Tyson Fury was in that rematch, because it was a one-sided fight, the rubber match surely is going to have far less interest. People are going to want to see Fury versus Joshua or Fury versus, you know, somebody else, not Wilder again, given how dominant he was, especially not in an immediate rematch. So that was before this economic crisis, right? Going into that rubber match with Wilder, Wilder was obviously going to be on a lot less money. Fury was going to be, I guess, on more money than last time. I'm not exactly sure how it worked. Perhaps it's a, it's not really about the guarantee so much as the split. I'm sure they both would have had guarantees. But under this cur current economic situation, Barry Hearn says that they won't be able to pay the fighters what they signed up for in their contracts unless they take a massive financial hit and are seriously in the red after the show. That's the only way they can do it, or if both fighters agree to take far less money. And would they be willing to do that? With Deontay Wilder at the end of the day, I personally believe that he is being pressured into, the, into an immediate rematch, not just by Al Heyman, not just by Shelly Finkel, not just by JD's, not just by Fox, but also by people in his personal life. Because Deontay Wilder has taken on a persona which a lot of people want him to live up to. And I think he feels the pressure of that. Even in his personal life, he feels the pressure of that. So I think that Deontay Wilder in his heart of hearts, would rather come back against somebody else than Tyson Fury. But he's not the brightest guy. So he's going along with what people are pressuring him to do and he's putting a brave face on it. And he's trying to conceal the fact that deep down, he's a little nervous about going in there with a rubber match against Fury. That's my personal readiness of the situation, okay? So yeah, if they abandon this fight, um... Are they really going to lose much anyway at the moment? Because the reason there's so much pressure on Wilder, certainly from the network promoters, managers, is because they want to make as much money out of him as they can while he's still semi-viable. Because if he was to fight somebody else other than Fury and get beat, they've just missed out right on a potential last big payday with Wilder. But if this because of the financial terms they've already agreed to in the original contract, if this Fury fight is just not financially viable anymore, then it might be better. They might find better terms for, let's say, Wilder to fight Dylan White. Could still do pay-per-view. There's a long history. There's beef. There's personal issues between the two of them, I think, over a woman. So maybe if they did that fight on a 50-50 there's the potential that Wilder could make more from that than he could from the Fury fight, potentially. Yeah? Depending on where it is. If it was in the UK, and obviously it's a long way off a fight like that happening in the UK, but if something like that could happen in the UK, that would do huge numbers. <laughs> you know, uh, in, would it do even more in America? Maybe, but how well known is Dylan White in America? I don't know. Certainly in the UK, he's definitely well known enough and wild is very very well known in the uk for it to be a, a huge fight or maybe they could do it somewhere else you know 
it's, it's an international market these days with boxing, Saudi Arabia, Dubai, all these other different markets are trying to enter the fold. So let's see what happens. But look, I'm not saying that Barry Hearn is definitely right and that the rubber match won't happen, but he makes some interesting points about the financial situation, both before this economic crisis and now in the midst, well, just the beginnings really of this economic crisis. Um, he makes some good points. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. It's happening them out.